Welcome back to Planet Coaster. I'm your host, Brothgar, and today I'm going to be taking a look at a couple of experiments I've done inside of this game that unfortunately don't work the way I thought they would have. Now, the first here is one that I thought was probably going to work, right? You make an entrance, and you can trick the game into making this really, really large entrance, and I thought this huge amount of surface area would allow a ton of people into this roller coaster. However, when I unpause this game and open up both of these roller coasters, what you're going to see is that it doesn't really work the way you would think it would do. So over here on the left, you're getting just about as many, the same amount of people as what you'd get over here on the right, because the game registers these queue lines based on its most narrow point. So if I were to actually put a two meter wide queue line right here, this line wouldn't be three wide. These people would be a little bit more single file. However, that doesn't really make much of a difference because at the end of the day, people will get onto this faster than they could pretty much get onto the roller coaster in general. So I was trying to trick the game into giving yourself like some way to actually get more people onto your ride, but as it turns out, there's no benefit there. So that's my first experiment that just didn't work out. And by the way, look at all these people. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's insane. This is what 8,000 people look like when they go to leave your park. <laughs> oh, we got to do it again. Ah! That's a lot of waving hands. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've officially broken the crowd. They don't know what to do. They're glitching out. <laughs> this is crazy. So my second question that was asked to me is, if you put a roller coaster inside of a building and make it a dark ride, does that in turn make the roller coaster more exciting? The actual thing is, does the darkness make roller coasters more exciting? So let me go ahead and just test this real quick just to show you what's up. As you can see, it goes around and comes back, and its excitement rating is 4.5. Now, this is a completely enclosed roller coaster, and if I go ahead and delete the building, and then we run in it again just to see what its results will be, guess what? As you'd expect, completely underwhelming. <laughs> Still 4.5. All that changed is the track scenery rating. So, while it didn't affect the excitement, it did affect the prestige. So it's 257 without, <laughs> build it back. And look at that, the prestige went up to 4.03. So it did make the ride more attractive, but it didn't make it more exciting. I know what you're asking, but that's a roller coaster. What about a track ride? Okay, so here is Mad Cat's track ride. And oh, this is a riveting, riveting ride. Look at that, holy moly. 4.25 on the excitement rating right there in the overview, <laughs> 68 on prestige go inside the building, same exact building, just copied it over here. As you can see, it encapsulates the building, or the roller coaster itself, ride, whatever. 4.25 on the excitement rating, no different at all. It did affect the prestige though. So there is benefit to making a dark ride inside of a building, it just doesn't make it more exciting. So that's kind of the track ride slash building half of the question. However, the other half of the question was, if the roller coaster is in darkness, does it become more exciting? So I put a roller coaster, the one that I've used for just about all my tests, underneath this mountain of earth. And as you can see, once you get inside of here, it is absolutely pitch dark, which you don't get if it's inside of a building right there. This roller coaster has an excitement rating of 4.51. But if I go ahead and delete this light, which should potentially make it less exciting, what do we get? Here it goes. And 4.51. Made absolutely no difference at all. So that's kind of disappointing. So just to compare that roller coaster, which is all underground right there, where we noticed that turning off the light didn't make any difference. This is the control for that roller coaster. And as you can see, the rating is 4.51 five here as well. The other one was 4.51. So there is a 0 0.01, which kind of leads me to another question that has been asked several times is, is building a roller coaster underground more exciting? Like, does it suddenly become more exciting because you're now going through a tunnel? Well, that's what this roller coaster test, as you can see, it goes back and goes through a big old tunnel. And as we could see here, if we go to the excitement rating, we should see a spike, at least with a duck or something. But no, you go into the tunnel and nothing. It's just 3.7, 3.71, 3.71. So maybe 0 0.01 is that <laughs> magical increase in excitement. But 
the results, in my opinion, are basically nothing, right? You build a roller coaster underground, congratulations, you built it underground, you build it above ground, it's, it's the same thing as far as this test shows right there. And last but not least, leg choppers. If you remember back when I made this roller coaster here, the Arctic Rush, there were a lot of points where people were ducking in this roller coaster. I then went on to make a roller coaster tutorial all about putting scenery just above the roller coaster ride itself, which caused people to duck so they don't lose their heads or head choppers, and that would cause a spike in excitement. The question was, does this work in reverse for roller coasters that hang upside down, like the boa roller coaster here? So this roller coaster is that test itself. I used several pieces of scenery, the exact same ones I used with the head ducking thing just to be consistent. And as you can see, the excitement rating for this roller coaster is a 4.56. And as you can see, I placed this scenery as absolutely as close as I could to the low part of the roller coaster. So when you're actually on this, you will ride and it will go just over this, which would actually scare me. I think I would pull up my legs so I don't lose my, <laughs> lose my feet to that. And it goes around the roller coaster and goes past a couple other pieces of scenery as well. Just to make sure I got all the bases covered, I also put one on top. As you can see, you can build scenery very, very close to the top of the roller coaster. And that's about as far as way as you can, you know, this is about as close as it gets here as well. So the result for this roller coaster was a 4.56. And if the theme of this entire video isn't consistent, what we should see after I delete all of this scenery is that this excitement rating will not change. So here it is, 4.56. I've deleted all those leg choppers and I'm gonna speed up the video. And it runs around and comes back to its station and 4.56 kind of disappointing. Leg choppers are not a thing. So there you have it, guys. Unfortunately, you can't cheat a ride entrance. I would love that one to be true, but unfortunately, it's just not so. Darkness in a dark ride doesn't make any difference. Underground excitement is really no more exciting than being above ground, which is kind of disappointing. And leg choppers are just not a thing in this game, which totally should be a thing in this game. But as we saw right there, they just they're just not. At any rate, hopefully you guys have found this video a little bit informative or maybe somewhat entertaining. If you did, maybe leave a like on your way out. And if I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. There's a lot of good recommendations about park management that have come up, and I think I'm going to explore that a little bit more here in the future. But those are all topics for the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out.